How's it guys? Vince here. I just wanted to make a very quick video to show you how to um, back up and encrypt your wallet and how to get your private key from your HTML coin wallet. Okay, so first of all you need to come to the home page of HTML coin or the wallet, actually the wallet page of the HTML coin website. Download your wallet. Once it's downloaded, okay, this is my test wallet. File, um, settings. Okay, I've already encrypted it, but you click encrypt and then you type your passphrase in twice. Make sure you've written this down or put it, make it something that you will not forget. All right, and don't put it as something password or one, two, three, four. Put a long password with numbers and letters. Um, make it decent. All right, then backup wallet. Now, guys, when you're backing up your wallet, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Try and spread it out a bit. Spread the risk. I like to back up my wallet onto a USB. And what I want to do shortly, as soon as I fix my optical drive, is to put it on a very special type of DVD. Um, I was doing research recently for archiving family photos. Putting it on an external drive is not the safest thing to do. Um, hard drives, if you don't put an electric charge through them periodically, um, even if you do, you know, data can be lost or corrupted. So what I want to do is put it onto a DVD so the data gets burned into a burned into the DVD CD and it can last a hell of a lot a lot longer. The only thing with that is, hypothetically speaking, let's say you back up your wallet to a DVD and then you access your wallet a year later. It's going to take quite a long time for your wallet to sync up with the blockchain because it's backed up your wallet at a point in time where the blockchain was a year ago. I think you understand. Anyway, so what I want to, I would suggest you do is back up your wallet onto one or more USBs and a final, you know, just to be damn safe, onto a, a DVD CD. Uh, this is a really good one, I believe. Is that Modisk? Yeah. Anyway, that's where I put my family photos for archiving purposes. So back up your the the wallet file onto multiple places. Now I'm going to show you how to get your private key. Hold on, what was I doing here? So file, whoopsie, file, backup, put it onto wherever your USBs save. Um, once that's done, what else? Okay, help. Now I'm going to show you how to get your private seed, your private key. Debug window. Okay, I'm going to put a link in the description. I got this from one of the admins, Richard Jew, helpful guy. Um, let's have a look here. Well, let's get back to the exact link. Okay, so I'll get to this in a moment. Type. So I'm just copying this. To get to your console window, let's just do this again. Help debug window console. Now I've copied this into my console. Paste your wallet passphrase here. So, wallet passphrase, your wallet passphrase here. So, I've copied this. My wallet passphrase for this test account, I think it's Steve, my alias. Not really, but anyway. Okay, that's good. Dump private key. Dump private key. Your address here. Okay. So now to get where it says your address here, you need to take any one of your receiving addresses. This is my test account, so I only have one. Uh, receiving addresses. Here it is. Copy. Paste. Boom, that's my private key. Now, if this wasn't a test account that I'm never going to use, I wouldn't should be showing you this. Guys, this private key, it's very private. And 
I don't suggest you copy and paste it anywhere on your computer. Write this down and be aware. Capital S, 7, capital Q, small x, big Y. Okay, it's case sensitive and just make sure when you're writing it down like an S, that is a capital S and it's not a 5. Okay, I've made this mistake before and when you're entering in a password, you're like, is that a 5 or S? You put an S, like, oh, it's not working. You've got to look at all your S's and change to 5 and try and find where you made the mistake. So when you're writing down your private key, just be well aware. When it's an S, make it a nice rounded S. When it's a 5, make it more block-like, okay? Uh, again, small S, big S, and 5. So there's three variations which can look fairly similar. Um, same with the letter O. Big O, small O, and 0. So just work something out, write it down, put it on a piece of paper, implant it under your skin somewhere, I don't know, but put it somewhere safe, okay? Uh, and you can, if your computer gets stolen or whatever, you can retrieve your wallet through the private key. Um, I haven't done that, I don't know how to do that. I know how to do that with Ultranote, because I've, I've actually had to do that before. Um, with HTML, I know how to open it through a backup Let's just have a look here. File. Restore wallet. So let's say you want to restore your wallet from a backed up file through the USB, the CD, wherever you've put it. Very simple. You find the file. Open. It'll ask you for your passphrase. Done. Um, to do it through your private key, I don't know how you do that, but I'm sure that's somewhere in this document and if you still can't find it speak to one of the guys in the telegram group telegram group and someone will help you that's it guys if you have any questions or if there's any more requests for another video or maybe someone says please show me how to access my wallet through the private seed i will find out for you and i'll make a video i just don't know how to do that right now i had a brief look and i was unsuccessful but if you have any questions, I will find out, okay? Um, is there anything else? So, that's your wallet. So guys, this video was about security, okay? Writing down your private seed somewhere, backing up onto USB or CD. The reason why it's USB or CD, it's something that's offline, okay? No one can hack a USB that isn't in a computer with internet. Uh, that's it, guys. Have a great day, evening, whatever. Catch up soon. Bye for now.